Hey, good afternoon, how are you? It's a lovely, lovely day and I am just making the very short journey from Arica to Tindrum, the village, the beautiful village of Tindrum. All the car parks I've passed so far are very, very busy. It's a beautiful Saturday and the forecast is due to deteriorate significantly tomorrow. So I think everybody's taking the last opportunity to get some of these mountains in and I'm the same too. I'm not expecting the Tindrum to be any quieter than anywhere else. Um, however, I do have plans to climb a relatively quiet hill. So I'm hoping that it's not going to be as popular as the, um, the big Munro's around Tindrum. And I have my tent with me and all things being equal, we shall pitch up and have a, a wonderful night on the top of this Corbett. See you at Tindrum. Cheers. So on my way now, I'm going a couple of minutes just leaving Tindrum and I'm currently tracking a short section of the West Highland Way. And the hill I'm going to climb today is a corbett called Bernard Air. I'm, uh, I'm hoping it's going to be quiet because as I've said all the car parks are very very busy and I think uh, the masses will be joining the better known hills and moan roads around here. So I'm going to shut up for a change and we'll, uh, we'll catch you some of the beauty as we head up the West Highland Way towards this hill. So it's nine, just over 900 metres and uh, pretty steep grassy mound uh, not dissimilar from its famous Munro counterpart a little bit further up the road okay so I'm off the uh, West Highland Way now and now starting to climb the grassy foot slopes of this hill. I think it's steady for a few hundred yards and then it pitches steeply upwards as we uh, seek the summit. So I've been going for about 50 minutes now, 55 minutes and the terrain so far has been really good there's like a very faint grass path that kind of zigzags its way up and uh, well it's making it really pleasant and it's dry, it's I mean 99% dry so it's been a real pleasure so far <sighs> dare I say I'm sweating like heck, my goodness me I mean, said that's going to be zero degrees I think tonight so there's nothing wrong with working up an appetite or a thirst. 
at the contours on that. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? That goes right up there to the to the quarry up there. Anyway, I'm around about uh, just short of halfway now to the summit. So making good progress, really. 55 minutes ish, and I've been obviously doing a little bit of filming. So it's a short one, but, but a good one so far. Let's do a bit more. Right, 2,000, just over 2,000 feet now. So going reasonably well. I don't know how long, probably an hour and 10, 15 minutes. But we're now starting to get the views behind us of Ben Moore and Stubinian and Ben Louis there. So we're getting altitude now and views with it. So far the terrain continues to be good. I'm a little bit, a little bit out of shape for these steep pulls, but again, this is why I've just got the lighter pack on today. I've tried to make this as light as possible. So only 24 tins of lager tonight. Good news. I was banking on this lock and being here, this, uh, this little pool. I didn't bring any water up. There's this one here and there's another one just a little bit around the corner, so... I had options, but I'm pleased to see it frozen solid, but uh, I can get some of that. It's, uh, it's not frozen over on the far side, so I shall get some water here. There's really good camping here, to be honest, and uh, I'd be, uh, it'd be good to camp here and just walk up to the top, because that's not, it's only 10, 15 minutes walk up there, so easily doable. Not far to go now. Probably about, I don't know, 300 feet, something like that, to get to the top. And then I'll have a look around. If some decent pictures up there, I'll have them. But that locking down there is very, very attractive. And it offers a bit of protection, if not the views. Right. My watch is telling me this is 2,984 feet. So if I do a big enough jump, I'd be over Munro height. So it's only, well, if my watch is accurate, it's only just under Munro height. It's cold up here. There, uh, There is camping up here. It's very, very stony. God, look at these views here. So fantastic views. There's Ben Derain over there. Still to do that yet. Yeah. Looks magnificent from here. Right, I'm gonna have a scout around and see if there is anywhere good enough to pitch my tent. Um, I've got to stop saying um as it really annoys me. It almost annoys me as much as camera shadows on my body, which I also and I hate tripping up as well. Right, because I am of the mind to go down to the Lochan. It's nice down there. There's a bit of protection. There are spots up here quite easy. Right, I've made my mind up. This cloud is just starting to lower. You can start to see it here. So that is going to, and it's over on the other peaks. They're a bit higher than here, fair enough. But it is starting to drop. So I'm going to I'm going to drop down to that locken and I'm going to pitch down there and then hopefully if the cloud cover does drop then I shall stay under it. Come on, let's go down there. Okay, I'm down to the locken now and it wasn't l low cloud, it was snow. So there's actually snow starting to come in on me now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get this tent up as quick as I possibly can. Right here. 
before that causes me any problems. Right, that's me all uh, pitched up and bed made and table out and stove ready. I'm in a good place. Comfortable just after four o'clock as well, so there's a, there's a good couple of hours of light left. I suppose we better talk about the elephant on the hill. My ex mid still not arrived. Still missing without trace. I'm going to leave it a couple more days and then I'm going to drop Dan an email. I'm sure that uh, Dan's going to treat it as importantly as I'm going to treat it. But I don't think what Dan realises is that I gave away a significant amount of Yorkshire pounds and I've not seen anything for it yet. And that's tough for me to handle. You know, every day that goes by, that's Yorkshire pounds missing. A hole in my bank balance. So as you've seen, it's the, uh, the old Faithful Lux Hex Peak, which we know is a great tent. It's a great tent. We love this tent. It'll be nice when that Eggsmith turns up, though, for the you know for the for these ill ill climbs and all that kind of stuff. Because obviously it's a fraction of the weight that that is. But uh, it really is a pleasure to pitch up these days. That snow just seems to be missing us. Taken to my tent now because there's a there's these snow flurries keep flying across and um, it is very cold outside. It's not one for uh, for messing about outside, especially while these uh, snow showers are in and out. So tonight I have pretty much the same setup as I had in Col, apart from the bag. So I've stepped back up to the Robicent 900 for tonight, and that's just sim simply because. It is going to be much colder up here on a 2,900 foot hill. Um, and whilst it is forecast for a little bit more snow after midnight, I don't think it's going to come to much. There's only going to be a dusting at the at the most. And I've come prepared. I brought my spikes with me just in case, but I don't see it being an issue whatsoever. This is absolutely splendid, by the way. Pasta, curried noodles, and tomato and bacon sauce. Absolutely splendid. I've got 10 to 8 on my watch, so I'm going to settle down now and um, probably doze off. So I think the best course of action is... See you in the morning. Morning, how are you today? It is horrible outside, absolutely horrible. It's like a freezing clag, so you've got like this really fine mist you know and it's been blown around but it's freezing at the same time all right i'm going to try boil a little bit of water using one of these dragon gels and uh it'll warm up inside of this tent a little bit and probably start to pack away um there's there's no reason to stay on here it's about seven o'clock in the morning so by the time i've got this done it'll be 45 minutes and and then i can get below this clag and get back down to tindrum well, it's a freezer this morning, that's for certain. Right, I've got everything packed up, I've just got to drop my tent. That'll take me a couple of minutes and then we'll march off and go underneath this clag. Poof, 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 it's cold today. Right, it's just after half past seven. It's all nice and done and quickly packed. I've got a coffee in me, so all good. Um, that's the only trace I'm going to leave today. Just a lovely hexagonal ship. People come with what the heck? Aliens, aliens. Never mind crop circles. Right, let's get off this hill. And uh, I'll pick this up a little bit lower underneath the clag. Okay, I'm just about getting views now, so just below the clag. It's been not. It's not been very pleasant. I can tell you. It's. I tell you, I've been disorientated a few times. You know when you're walking down in the in the mists, and you believe. Well, you're on a path, but for some reason you just don't think you're going in the right direction. So I kept checking me my GPS every uh, every couple hundred yard coming down just to make sure. Because there's nothing worse, is there than finding your send 
off route and then having to hop across country to get back in but definitely back on track and uh, not far away from reaching the West Highland Way. Right here, that is me back down now to the railway lines and that wasn't too bad at all. I'm not too sure what time it is but um, I shall tell you in a second. Anyway, a really good camp. So that was uh, Bernadar, something like that. And uh, a fine Corbett and whilst it can be bounded up in a couple of hours, I'm certain of that. It's definitely worth taking your tent up and having a night, particularly near that little lochan, because it was very nice. Obviously a little bit surprised with the uh, drop of snowfall this morning, but we were protected against the elements nonetheless. So all good news there. Right, the news is it's half past eight, so it's taken me one hour. Right, I'm going to finish it here and walk back down to the car. Uh, a shout out to Carl Lott. Carl Lott reg watches the videos regularly and I hugely appreciate your continued support, Carl, and uh, hopefully meet you out on the trail sometime. Mrs. Boardman is on the case of the XMID now, so you've heard about the mount is always getting the man, well hopefully Mrs. Borden will always get her tent. She's never showed as much interest in one of my tents, but again, she's a Yorkshire gal, you see, and she doesn't like the fact that there's a hole in her bank account, nothing to show for it. So, thank you, Mrs. Boardman. Right folks, I'm going to end it here. It's been wonderful having you along with me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up. We like thumbsies upsies. And see you where we are. See you. And see you next time, wherever that may be. See you soon. Bye bye.